Hello, it's Ricardo, and welcome back to this how-to video on Under the Waves. Under the Waves, the 1970s techno-futuristic Under the Sea, Under the Waves mission. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we've got a little bit of damage that's come to the oxygen system. It's very important. It's a day three mission, and we're going to look at repairing the oxygen generator. There is a process to this, which we're going to go through step by step. So welcome back to Under the Waves and a day three mission. Repair the oxygen generator and go and check the oxygen mix. This will allow you to restore oxygen pressure and you'll be able to breathe under the waves. See what I did there? It's not too far away from the life module. Looking at the map as well and zooming in, you can see one, two, three, four, five agricultural oxygen generators, which if you zoom in, you can see them. It's so an O2 biogenerator. These are the items that you have to fix, indeed, or balance out so that you get all your lights showing as blue. Now, heading towards the oxygen generator, you can see everything is red. Things are not looking too good for us. You pack up the moon, which is your little submarine, to the side of that. Uh, exit the sub. Here we go. And you can see there's a valve and a measurement gauge right there on top of this main tank. So pressing F gets you down towards the surface. Pressing E, well, gets you to attempt to change the valve, which you can. It says the pressure is too low. Let's give the cables a quick check over. Now the cables, there's six of which come out to the side. One goes to the, the habitat module. Obviously the rest go to the bio generators of oxygen. You can see all the lights there are all flashing red. Let's go over to the first bio generator, O2 bio generator. At the top you can see there's a valve. Again, pressing F to stand down so you can get a better purchase on the valve. Pressing E lets you grip the valve and then D does the turning of the valve on PC. You just press the D key on console. You don't have to wiggle your joystick around in the particular area. With that done, you can see a blue light has come on. Over to the next one now. So you can take the sub if you want, if it's too far away, or you can just do what non-lazy people do and go for a little swim. Getting to the top of this biogenerator, O2 biogenerator, again, you stand down, you press E, you'll approach the valve. Pressing D turns the valve, and if you're lucky, and you do it correctly, then another light will come on on the O2 generator tank. Now you're guessing you have to do this for each of the bio generators, so that all the lights turn blue. Nice and easy, and you can tell where the oxygen generators are via the main map by pressing tab on PC. Not particularly difficult, it certainly isn't compared to some other aspects in the game, but then this is a day three mission, you're still very early on in the game. It's a good effect though, turning the valves, that changes the light, once all that is done and you've got around, don't forget to pick up any plastic or other material along the way. Dead simple this, repairing the oxygen generator. Now, the other ones are a little bit of a ways away. Uh, for that, you might start incurring some oxygen problems. Right? You've got your oxygen sticks, but they're a finite resource. You need to find more algae, more plastic to make more of them. However, you may want to take your sub on some of the longer excursions. That will prevent you from using more oxygen, and away you go. So here we go. We're off now to the fourth one the fourth oxygen biogenerator. Here we are on top, pressing F, stand down, press E, turn the valve. Looking around and see what's going on with the lights. That's that. Excellent. Only two more remaining. Um, you could probably make it over there and use an oxygen stick or you can get back to your sub and do things a little bit quicker. It's perfectly up to you this early on in the game. Although I do feel as we do progress in the game, oxygen is going to be one of those resources that's going to be more sought after. And those person it. who keeps hold of your oxygen sticks 
they're going to be the people who are going to be able to get through the game easier. Oxygen being the thing. The little sub, however, is quite nimble and, and you know, you can get it into most small places for a one-man submarine. A little bit awkward to control at first, but once you get the hang of it, I'm sure you'll find it being okay. So here we are, we're off now towards the fifth generator. Here we go, out we go, pop. Out through the hatch. Approach the top. You've guessed it, you press F to stand down and then E. That then turns on the valve, equalizes the pressure for the oxygen, and that's another light turned from red to blue on the oxygen generator. Done. Back in the sub. Now I often get a little bit disorientated. Where did I park the sub? I don't know. Um, obviously it's above me, but for the life of me I couldn't find it. There we go, there it is. Get inside, pressing the F key. Gets us inside the one-man submarine, and we're away. Now, the next one is just behind a ridge, which you can get through to a little crevice to the left-hand side. You can see it there glowing in the distance. Straight through there, you can see it's red lights. That means it's shut down. Approach this. You know this by now, we've done it five Wait. times before. Well, you exit your sub, no problem. Ah uh, yes, I do. Okay. Swim over. Feet down by pressing F. Get purchase on the valve. Press D to open the valve. That then will turn the light from red on the main oxygen tank all the way to blue. And that's it, gonna be done. Now what you have to do at this stage then, once that's done, is get back to that oxygen tank. Get back to the oxygen tank and then mess around with the main valve and that'll help you to collect and complete the mission. Getting go. into the sub now. Here we go. Back to the main structure. Giving the sub a bit of beans to get there a little bit quickly. There we go. Straight over. You can see all the lights are now blue, pressure's good, out we get, back to where we originally started this one part of the quest, approach the platform, pressing F so we stand down, over to the valve, we can see all the lights on both sides are blue, that's fantastic. Over to the valve. Press E, and then you turn the valve then sequentially till you get it into the green. Now, don't worry if you miss the green. Just overfill the tank right as much as you possibly can, and the valve will reset itself back to zero, and you can go through the process again. I'll show you. So here I am. I'm in. I'm in the red. Right, okay? No mission completed there. Um, keep going. D to hold and you'll turn it and turn it and turn it and once you start turning it it'll go into the danger zone or the chevron area and once it gets to the other part of the chevron area as you can see here so here you go we go back we turn the valve it goes well into the red the valve resets itself and then back in the green. put it into the green Therefore, like completing the, the mission. This was how to repair the oxygen generator in Under the Waves. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you like the videos, hit like and subscribe. Check back again in the next Under the Waves how to video. I've been Ricardo. Thanks for watching. I'll see you soon.